Hi, you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing, and today we're gonna talk about how you can protect your 401k and yourself during a recession. About every 10 years, the U.S. economy slides into a recession, and we're at the edge of that right now. The U.S. economy could slide into a recession basically at any time. And that thought terrifies more people who are riding their retirement on the success of the U.S. stock market. The great thing Rule One investors and the people who are watching this video know is that a recession is a golden opportunity to purchase great companies at bargain prices. And if you can do that, you can get rich. Even Warren Buffett has said in the past to look at the market fluctuations as your friend rather than your enemy and profit from folly rather than participate in it. Buffett just recently said that we are in for an economic storm and that when it happens, it's going to rain gold. And you should go outside when that happens with a bucket, not a thimble. And what he means by that is you have to prepare yourself to be able to buy great companies when they're on sale. Now, the big question hanging over most people's heads is what to do in a 401k in a recession. Even though it may not be the best way to grow your money, many of us have 401ks and we're kind of locked into a very structured investment environment. If a recession hits, what should we do with that money in the 401k? So let's talk about how you can recession proof your 401k so you don't have to worry about losing those savings in the event of a recession. First, should you lower your contribution to a 401k during a recession? Now here's something that might surprise you. Anytime, recession or not, is a good time to lower your contribution to a 401k if you are contributing more money than your employer matches. And here's why. A 401k typically charges high fees for administration and management, and these eat into your nest egg. In fact, um, John Bogle, who runs Vanguard, wrote a nasty letter to the SEC complaining that the fees being charged by 401k administrators eat up, are you ready for this? 60% of a person's retirement who starts investing in a 401k in their 20s. This is a nasty number, 60%. The other problem with the 401k is the administrators over diversify, which limits the potential growth of your portfolio. Also, they take away your freedom of choice, which is just horrible. They treat you like a baby. I mean, it's just kind of nuts. 401ks typically restrict your options to ETFs and mutual funds and money market accounts when in other perfectly fine approved government retirement accounts like IRAs, KEOs, defined benefit plans, you can control where you put your money. I don't know why they do that in a 401k except that your employers are basically afraid you're gonna sue them. Ah, they ought to pass a law. So when you put your money in a 401k that controls your investment strategy, you miss out on the opportunity to choose investments that would be one whale of a lot more profitable, more rewarding, more fun to do, and that matter more to you to invest in. When you direct your own investing, you get to choose the companies that share your values, what you wanna see in the world in 20 years, instead of investing in whatever limited choices you happen to have in your 401k. So despite a popular belief, 401ks, oh, aren't so safe either. They kind of basically shadow the market at the best. When the market goes down, 401ks, in spite of all of this kind of over-diversification, they drop like a brick also. And when the market goes up, what you get is the market minus the 401k fees. And that means the 401k returns trail the overall market you could have done all by yourself. So there's one situation though, where a 401k actually works out pretty good, and that's if your employer is matching your contribution. If you get, let's say, 100% match, then you will double your investment right off the bat, and you do it pre-tax, which is terrific. But if you're contributing more to your 401k than your employer is matching, you should contribute less, in my view. Stick to the employer match, but invest anything above that in an IRA or a Roth IRA, or if you can, put together a self-directed retirement account like a defined benefit plan so you can choose where your money goes. Investing in a 401k is better than not investing at all. I totally agree with that. And you should take advantage of any employer matching that's available to you. It's better to put your money in a 401k if you're not gonna learn how to invest. Fine, over-diversify, what else can you do? You're ignorant, you gotta do that. 
But if you intend on getting a high return with low risk, you're gonna have to learn to invest. No matter what investment vehicle you use, keep contributing money to your retirement. Don't stop during a recession. Keep on saving. In fact, a recession is gonna be the best time for you to invest. You might not be investing as much at the beginning of the recession, but you should be saving aggressively then. Now, should you cash out of your 401k during a recession? No, don't do it. You shouldn't cash out of retirement accounts until you retire. Many investors panic when the market drops and they start making crazy decisions that they later regret. Remember, you should buy fear and sell greed. And remember, we're in a greed market right now. Selling when the market's low is the exact opposite of what you should be doing, which implies that you might wanna be thinking about right now moving over to a money market account. By the way, this is not advice or recommendations, this is just my opinion. So rule one investors recognize a recession as a time to load up the truck, but you have to buy the right companies. Just don't throw your extra money into a 401k if you're already getting like some kind of maximum employer match. Instead, get the cash so that you can buy companies that you select yourself. Do the research and you're gonna find great companies that match your values are gonna be available for you to buy at bargain prices. That's how you get the maximum returns over the long run. We did this 10 years ago in Singapore with a class we did there and that class picked out 10 companies, left them alone for 10 years and on paper at least, the return was 32% compounded per year and a 1,200% return overall versus the stock market only compounding at 13% and about a 200% return. So bottom line here is, we don't want you to cash out of your 401k and take a huge loss. We don't want you to do that. We want you to just be sure that you're in there available to invest when the time comes. Get the bucket ready. Take a step back, think about learning to invest for the long term. Now next, try not to look at your account balances during a recession. If you're not gonna take my advice and be looking seriously about moving to the money market account as we go into a recession, then my advice to you will be don't look at your account balances during the recession. It's gonna get scary. When most people hear the stock market takes a dip, this is a dip, <laughs> a 40% dip, they start to get pretty nervous and they look at their retirement's account and stare at the balances going down 20%, 30%, 40%. If you're gonna sit in ETFs, over diversified, in mutual funds, please don't do this. Just throw away your quarterly report, don't look at it, you're just gonna make yourself crazy for no reason. You've made a decision not to learn to invest, now you have to stick with your decision to over diversify and sit tight in the market. You cannot time the market. It's not gonna happen unless you know what you're doing. When the market's going down, this is the worst time to be checking the balance of your accounts because it's gonna freak you out. So guys, now you might be wondering, should you invest more during a recession? And the answer is both no and yes. No and yes, okay? As a recession starts, you don't wanna be putting more money into the market. What you wanna be doing if you're a great investor is follow Buffett and sit in cash, which is of course the bucket, right? You gotta have a bucket. Now you wanna wait until the gold starts following, which is great companies being available on sale. Then yes, you're going to invest more during the recession. Now, what people wanna know is, at what point, if I'm sitting in cash, do I actually start buying these companies? How do you call the bottom? And the answer is you don't call the bottom. What you do is you simply value these businesses and buy them when they're on sale. If you could buy a $50 business for $25, hey, that's a good deal. If it continues to go down to 15 bucks, great. We'll save some more money and buy more of it. But we're certainly not going to just sit there and hope we can figure out where the bottom is. Once they're on sale, we're a buyer. Now, during the recession, your 401k, if it's diversified across all these ETFs, that's gonna go down because it's gonna match the market. But I'm gonna tell you something, if you have taken that money and gotten out of that diversification and put it into cash at the beginning of a recession, then your portfolio doesn't have to go down with the market. Your portfolio can sit in cash for the year, year and a half that we're in a recession, and then you can buy the whole market back at the bottom or near the bottom of the recession, and hopefully you'll see a really good return. A market crash, if you can get the cash, provides an incredible opportunity for you to load up, not only on individual companies, but also in your 401k, on the market and whole. 
Look for companies, by the way, and you're starting to buy individual companies that you understand and that align with your values. Companies with a strong competitive advantage that gives them a niche and protects them against competition. Get trustworthy management, people with integrity, and you want to buy them at a big discount to their actual value. And this is, of course, what Buffett's talking about when he says we have an economic storm and it starts to rain gold. You want to buy companies that are phenomenal, that are going to be around 10 years or more. That's the basic thing we look for um, long after any short-term crash. You're going to be able to hold them and they're going to be great for you down the road. The bottom line here is that during a recession, I want you to consider putting any extra money into your IRA, into your self-directed retirement account. Look for the opportunity to buy these great companies on sale and you're going to end up much better off in the long run by choosing your own companies rather than putting everything into a 401k. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. What are you going to do to recession-proof your 401k? Are you willing to go to cash? Leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you guys. And thanks for watching. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you think it was valuable in teaching you more about investing during recessions, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.